Hi folks, this is Andre from TimeSact, and in this tutorial, we're talking about the continue selling when out of stock checkbox. Now, this is a very important setting in Shopify that you can find in products. When you go to a product or if the product has variants, when you go at the variant level, you will find this box, which can be teched or unteched. And the importance of it is in the fact that it enables the checkout for products that are sold out. And so it's vital for a pre-order app to be able to interact with this properly. Now, um, by default, you will have this box unticked so that when a product stock is zero, it's going to say sold out on your store. If I were to add a product into TimeSack, in my case, this would be like the medium variant in this blue silk tuxedo. I just want to show you that the app is going to tick that box and untick that box respectively based on my active pre-order. And so this one is the variant. It has no stock in Shopify, as you can see. Now I'm just going to add it with the option pre-order only of when out of stock because this works. I'm going to hit save here. Okay. Now the product is active, so I can preview it on the store and it's going to have the pre-order on it. And now if I were to look back in Shopify, I would need to refresh this page, but what you're going to see is that continue selling when out of stock box is now ticked, okay? And that makes sense because I want the checkout enabled if I have an active pre-order, okay? Um, now, there are cases where either someone on your team or another app, usually a back in stock app, and I'm going to make a whole video about those to tell you how to set it up so that it's going to, to work together with a back in stock app, which competes for this box here. But if I were to uncheck this and hit save here, what I would expect to happen, you know, once Shopify has performed the update in the background is for the very same scenario, if I refresh this page a couple of times, you see the button is somehow grayed out. I can't press it. And that's because I've told Shopify, hey, don't enable the checkout when this product sells out. And it's done that, right? And so now if I go back and I tick it, correctly, you know, after the, the correct updates are performed in the background, it's again going to allow me to add the item to my cart so it's working. Okay. Now, I also wanted to show you that the app also unticks this correspondingly because if I go here and I delete this product, for example, it's going to restore everything to the settings I had previously. Okay, so once that's gone and the respective settings are done, right, and it's saying sold out here, if I am to go back in here and refresh this page again, the continue selling when out of stock box is now unticked as I would expect it because I don't want people being able to check out on sold out products if I don't have an active pre-order on them. So the app is going to tick and untick this box automatically. So you don't need to, to worry about that. And, and for those of you that have a strict business requirement that this box should not be ticked for any reason, we have created an alternative in the app, which I just want to show you. Um, it's going to add the same, uh, like for this one, I'm actually going to need to have some stock in Shopify if I want to avoid the continue selling being ticked. So I'm going to hit save here. All right. And now that I have some inventory available for this item, I can actually go back into times act and I can select this medium now with inventory in Shopify, add it and select the third stock management option. So pre-order only when Shopify inventory is available. And basically this is only going to allow what I actually have set in Shopify 
to, to be sold as pre-orders. And so now if I hit save here, I will get the same benefit of showing an active pre-order. Okay, let me show you that in a preview on the store. Okay, so I have the pre-order, it's now working. Okay, and I can add stuff to my cart, it's fine. Um, but you'll see if I refresh this, the continue selling when out of stock box will not be checked. Okay, so I've avoided checking that box altogether. And the same thing goes if I delete the item from the store. Like there will be no impact on the continue selling when out of stock box. Okay, so this is a really important setting for you to understand because based on how it's actually ticked, the checkout will be enabled or not for sold out products. And be sure to check out my tutorial on how pre-order apps integrate with back and stock apps and how to make sure that this box will not conflict with the two. Thank you.